today with our adding and subtracting fraction playlist video number one. Let's dive right in. As a review problem to get our minds working again, let's simplify 7 fourteenths. If you need some help, please check out our prerequisite video on how to simplify fractions, which you can find on our YouTube page. If you are ready, go ahead and push pause. And then when you are ready to check your work, push play and let's see how you did. So as you remember, simplifying is using the identity property of division to divide a fraction by another fraction equivalent to one whole. And so we are going to divide here by 7 over 7, which is going to give us an simplified answer of one half, right? So let's dive into what we are doing today. Today I will be able to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators by finding a common denominator. Now Dr. Bones loves rules. He loves to follow rules and we have our number one rule of fractions. Do not pick up the goats. Oh, that that is the number one rule at the petting zoo, not for fractions. Although that is a good rule. Please do not pick up the goats. They <laughs> They poop and bite a lot. Our number one rule of fractions is to add, subtract, or compare fractions. The denominators have to be the same. That is a huge rule of importance, hence being the number one rule. We're going to dive in to explore this concept today, so let's do it. Dr. Bones rules and steps for adding and subtracting fractions. Please go ahead and pause the video, write these down to be very, very important. Number one, like we said, you have to have a common denominator. So our number one, our first step is to find a common denominator and we use the pattern method. Um, there are several different ways to find common denominators, but for this lesson, I'll be showing the pattern method. Number two, you're going to rewrite the problem with your new equivalent fractions underneath. And number three, you are going to add and subtract the numerators. Now, number four is of the utmost importance. If your answer is an improper fraction, you use your number bonds to turn it into a mixed number, right? So if it is an improper fraction. Use your number bonds to turn it into a mixed number. Let's look at how we can use these steps to help us. One fifth plus one half equals C for Kegatorus. Not a real dinosaur. Dr. Bones made that up. So we have one fifth plus one half, but I cannot add these because my number one rule of fraction says my denominators have to be the same. So I'm going to use my pattern method over here to make a list of equivalent fractions, okay, for both of these fractions. Now, I know that 2 will not turn into 5 because Dr. Bones is very smart. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do my pattern method for both of these. Now, if you did not watch our prerequisite video, basically all I'm doing is using repeated addition to help me find these fractions. So I'm going to skip count by 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, and then up here I'm going to skip count by 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'm going to come down here, I'm going to do 5, 10, 15, and 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I do not see any common denominators yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue my pattern method for the smaller denominator of 2. And I'm going to do one more. And 8 plus 2. Oh, here we have it. Dr. Bones has found an equivalent or a common denominator of 10. Of 10. And i got to make sure that I write that 10 right there. And so I have 5 tenths and 2 tenths. So I found equivalent fractions with a common denominator. And now I'm going to just simply rewrite those underneath. So one fifth became two tenths. One half became five tenths. 
And now when I add those together, I add my numerators, my denominators stay the same, and my answer is 7 tenths, which you could also maybe write as a decimal just for fun. Sum of 1 fifth plus 1 half is 7 tenths. Let's take a look at one more I do problem. So you can just watch this one. I have two thirds minus three fifths. I know I need to find in a uh, common denominator by doing my pattern method. Now, if you see, I have a numerator and denominator that are the same, but that is not good enough. So I'm gonna start with two thirds because I always start with my smallest digit first. So three, six, 9, 12, and I know that I'm going to have to go to 15 because I've done this for a while. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. When I skip count by 5 down here, I get 5, 10, 15, 3, 6, 9. And so my common denominators are 15. So I'm going to rewrite my uh, fractions with the equivalent fractions with a common denominator. So 2 thirds became 10, 15. I know that 3 fifths became 9 fifteenths. And so when I subtract these, I get an answer of 1 fifteenth. So for this, we could say that t equaled 1 fifteenth. Let's dive right in to doing one together, working with Dr. Bones as we solidify your mathematical reasoning and understanding. So here I have two fifths plus one fourth plus one tenth equals R for rigatoni, my favorite pasta. And so here I have, I know that my denominators need to be the same for all of them. And so I'm actually going to be doing my pattern method for all three fractions at once. And so over here, this would be like my scrap paper. I'm going to do my pattern method. Five, ten. 15, 20. Typically, I start with four equivalent fractions, and then if I need to, I continue. 4, 8, 12, 16. My numerator is 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And I haven't found a common denominator yet, but my hand, ooh, when you become a doctor, your handwriting is not very good. Um, and so here I know if I just do one more group of four, I can turn this 16 into a 20. And now I have a common denominator of 20, which when I do it for 10, I know 10 will also become 20 because I am a doctor. And now I have found my common denominator for all three fractions. Now I'm going to rewrite my equation with the proper equivalent fractions with a common denominator. So I know that two fifths became eight twentieths plus one fourth became five twentieths plus one tenth became two twentieths. And so when I add these together, I get an answer of 15 twentieths which again, I know that I can simplify this because both of these end in a five or zero. So I'm going to use my identity property of division to divide this at, with a five over five, which is really equivalent to one whole. And my answer is going to be, my simplified answer is going to be three fourths. Now 15 twentieths and three fourths are equal to each other. But we always like to simplify here in Dr. Bone's School of Fractions. Some of you may have a very, very good question right here now. You might be asking yourself, what if it's a word problem, Dr. Bones? And, you know, I have an answer for you. Our fraction rule number two. <laughs> Get it? Anything you can do with a whole number, you can also do with a fraction. You can multiply fractions, you can divide fractions, you can subtract fractions, you can do order of operations with fractions, and guess what? You can do word problems with fractions. And so we are going to do an example of this so you can see exactly what Dr. Bones is talking about. The table below shows how many popsicles Jordan ate last week each day. 
He ate some popsicles. How much more of a popsicle did Jordan eat on Tuesday than Monday? So even though this is fractions, I'm still going to use our problem-solving strategy, Sides Check. If you need to know more about this, please check out our Sides Check music video to learn about our problem-solving strategy. So my statement is going to say, Jordan ate more popsicles on Tuesday than Monday. So when I go back and identify things in my problem, which is the I in the sides check, I know that I'm talking about each day. I know I was looking for Monday and Tuesday, which means Friday is of no importance to Dr. Bones. And so I also know that I will be doing a additive comparison tape diagram because it's asking me to compare Tuesday and Monday. I know that my Tuesday one should be longer than my Monday one because it told me that he ate more on Tuesday. So my Tuesday tape diagram needs to be longer than Monday. If you don't know how to do these tape diagrams, again, please check out our YouTube page. We have a wonderful video on how to do tape diagrams. I'm going to label this as Tuesday and Monday. And I am looking for how much more, in other words, what is this piece right here? How much more did he eat on Tuesday? So now I need to insert my information. I know on Monday he had one half of a popsicle. On Tuesday he had three-fourths. And if I'm looking for how much more I had on Tuesday, then really the equation I'm writing is one half plus my question mark is going to equal three-fourths. Now how do I solve for this missing addend? I would rewrite this as a subtraction problem. So to really to solve this, I'm going to be subtracting three-fourths minus one-half. This goes back to our number one rule of adding, subtracting, or comparing fractions is the denominator has to be the same. So when I do my pattern method over here on my scrap paper, imaginary scrap paper, I see that one half became two fourths. I do not need to change my three fourths, which means my answer is one fourth. This question mark is one fourth, which means Jordan ate one-fourth more of a popsicle on Tuesday than Monday. If I added one-half plus one-fourth, it would equal three-fourths. So this is why I develop my thoughts using a tape diagram. As you can see, this is exactly what we would do if these were whole numbers, the same tape diagrams, the same equations, and the same way to solve them, except now they are fractions. I hope in this video you learned a little bit more about the terrible accent that Dr. Bones has. It is supposed to be Australian. Not sure what happened during the video. And also, you have learned how to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. And you have realized that word problems with fractions are the exact same thing as word problems with whole numbers. We invite you to check out our YouTube page, Instruct the Beats Official. Not all the videos have this awful accent, but the fraction ones do. Please follow us on Instagram at, at Instruct the Beats. Dr. Bones and Instruct the Beats, out.